Okay, they're actually playing now. Okay, right, cool. So yeah, um, I imagine we use stuff this a lot. And um, he's probably can like tank through stuff with like short up orders, like his handing back airs. Okay, that's nice. Yeah, faint jumps, but it's all good. Um, weird down smash combo breaker. I probably miss it, but I guess I get up on how you have to do back air instead. That's like a bit stuff Megamon to do, but it's not really particularly safe. If Simp loses, he's leaving all on social media. Okay, so let's go Simp. I'm sorry, that's me. Because yeah, yeah, he's out. What? Oh. Better pick up his uh, lead play, but my other lead kind of messed up. That's a. That's a decent good Oh, that's a decent good edge guard in case they buff an option like that by accident, which is what he did, so. Yeah. Yeah, whenever you hit by leaf shield, you can't afford to mash because you're probably going to end up buffing stuff. Yeah, like. I really can't imagine the project being too good for Ryu to but that was a nice mix-up there. There was a few a few frames that like really just up-tilted sort of thing, but I respect that yeah, I think he got his jump even though he's okay. It's okay. Really shield miss. Yeah, Sip's not really a very lemon heavy Pokemon. Like, he's using really shield and metal blitz a lot, which is like still fine, don't get me wrong. Yeah, like I don't think he needs to put that with really shield every time. I would have yeah, okay. That's the whole place. She's left down there with strong. Holy oh, yeah, edge going well. Okay, never mind. <laughs> yeah, side B high is like a pretty crap option though. Like, um. Reach, like, I guess, uh, you know, Kyrie's a good edge guarding option. You can't really do that because, like, side B's uh, hitbox is actually really bad. Nice try. Good for and like, Shuriken has invincibility, she kind of has to go down really low, but you, you know, it's going high. Yeah, I don't actually remember the last time. Okay, there's a lesson there. Just kind of. Like, he's... I think he can just afford to let you stay back, frustrate the Ryu, and then go for the confirm, instead of like going for them like that, yeah. Nice damage. Okay, he was going for some snare chains, but I don't know there are some class followers. Warden might have killed him, but I think he was just dead. Yo, now it's on to kill himself with Josh. I mean, I uh, want Odyssey. See how Kani can adapt. The thing is, like, I feel like Sim's doing the wrong thing, but like, doing alright anyway, so it's kind of weird. Like, I mean, he really does struggle with some, like, projectile camping, so it's not too surprising that he's struggling now. But I think that, like, he should try to, um, Sim, like, jump a bit less, because, like, once he's in the air, um, Unless he's in a position where he has stage control, it's not really a huge amount that um, we can really do because he was good as that option, he's going to get hit by something like that. Yeah. Like you can see he's jumping a lot there, like, like there, you know, he's not going to get anything. Uh, yeah, and then for sure, um, uh, can't, uh, Seb should let me more like that. Yeah, that's fine. Like, just literally keep him out forever. Okay, so you can't, uh, don't, uh, buffer the, um, ledge option against leaf shields. Is he dead? No. Could have been, though. I don't think there's much point in, like, uh, being in double jump in that situation, because it's the cap. It's that to ledge then. High side, please, still not good. Good confirm. Got that thing pretty nicely, hopefully. <laughs> Yeah, this is more like it, yeah. That's kind of what I want to see. Oh, that was a nice puppy footstool. I wonder if it was Dutch Hall. Oh, nice duck. Yeah, that was really clean. Yeah, they get back here there because he was jumping a bit too much. So it's going to be quicker than Ari's back here. His uh, leg line's being frame 4. We're using like frame 6 or something. Uh, pretty weird mix up from the ledge there, but it ended up working out because it's kind of a lucky option. Hey, it's still pretty close though, I'm still sure you will kill. On space 4 there, we'll go for that though. I'm not gonna high side B, but it's working out. Yeah, these full hops are. Um, I'm not really sure about those because like, you commit so much when you jump with Ryu because like, he has really bad air velocity. 
And I gotta turn around. Whenever he turns around, he can't really turn around. Like, he's gonna his own direction. So if I pull up and hit the ledge, everyone's saying, okay, all these things, like, I'm back down, along with Black Air, I'm doing nothing. Yeah, pop inside me. Sure, you can make him back? Yeah, okay, nice. Really short, but it worked out. Black Air will probably kill now. He's in the ledge. Yeah, good option, Bison. Just get nice stage control back. Thanks, Lil' Until then. Oh, that like end guilt. Okay, no, I like that he didn't realize just how much lag it had. He could have like outsplashed or sure he something. He doesn't need to worry about lagging kill options. They just walk around and up him. Or something similar, you know, like a couple of values up till. Sip is jumping a lot. He's still pressing a few too many attacks. Again, because he full hopped there, I think he pulled anyway, if I'm wrong, I'm sorry, but I think like, because he pulled he wasn't there in time to uh, get punched with the power shield roots. And maybe also he doesn't realize how safe his up tilt is in block compared to other moves. He's landing with a lot of other space aerials, that would, um, which would be safe if he was like doing neutral air drops or something. So I don't think Sip is aware of like shield grab ranges. It should be death, yeah, okay. Yes, this is one of the reasons that you shouldn't really up the early as much, because you can't stop the ledge, so you're more likely to get close with that. I get that like you lose your jump otherwise, but like you know you might as well if you're gonna die this. Okay, good mix up. Up so awesome grab. Okay, landing with some areas now. Okay, this is nice. Down there? No. I think that like if you got used to there, you could have gone down there, but because it was sour forward air, didn't have enough to And regular forward air wouldn't have it anyway. Oh, cross the last match, but he just realized we spot touched. These leaf shields are really bizarre. I don't like, get the point of like jumping into Ryu with like low options. It's like your leaf shield works, then you throw Metal Blade, then what? You know? These high side bees are putting on so. How are they working? Oh, that's it! Finally got on to show you. That is game 3 now. So, you can see Kanye adapt a little bit there. Jumped a little bit less. Took a bit less free damage. Yeah, I wonder what, um... I mean, now that it's game 3, I can like, talk about how Synth should adapt. Because like, I always had in game 1, like, Synth was jumping and approaching with, like, running leash shields and, like, not lemoning. I guess he doesn't want to give away stage control, because in the way that against Ryu is really bad. Because jumping over Ryu sucks. And, uh, because, like, especially if Mega Man is an amazing air ability. So he doesn't want to jump over Ryu. So he doesn't want to lose stage control. But like, as with Lemons, you kind of have to, right? So I guess why he doesn't want to do them. But he can definitely be better than that. Like... Yes, sir. Uh, he has to just Lemon much more. Save it back. That's good. Okay. He really starts off with Lemons. Like, don't be afraid to let you just play the lane game. You see, and that was good up until he dash grab because like, as soon as he dash grab, he committed to an option that could have been punished. Before that, it was all stuff that Ryu had to hard read to punish, or like be in just a completely different position. So, like Ryu's damage output is so much higher, you can't afford to fight him. He has to just play keep away and win neutral over and over again. It's small ways that leads to nothing. Because then he grabs them. Like he grabs leads more, sure, but they won't actually get anything in the long run if it doesn't work out for him. Like a grab for Mega Man would be like what, like 14, 15? Whereas an up tilt for Ryu is going to be doing like loads, you know. Jesus, that could kill. I think he messed up the metal lift thing. That could be it. Wow. Oh, he's going to pineapple, and that's it. That was a pretty good edge card. It could have been a bit better, but it worked out, so I can't really like it. So. I'm going to use your ledge, just pretty clever. Okay, yeah, okay, I guess it's a little bit of 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 a little bit that's more like it, but he has to jump back when he's doing that, very much. Yeah, very much so, if he just stands up, like, you can definitely jump over that. The Ryu's hitbox is extremely huge. And they'll beat out Lemons all day, because they're active for ages too. Not many for there. Nice, getting stage control back, being patient. 
Shilly Ring went stuff for the picture, so safe. It's not gonna kill, please say no. Okay, jeez, but say if, if that actually killed with no rage, I would be on tilt. Okay, the last splash is gonna read. We shall get up and Tani takes the set despite a you know, getting pineapple and give it to my first stock. So yeah, it's pretty pretty good. Who's not turn against? Okay, right. 